the scrunch, so I'm just going to write this in. So don't wash your feet now for three weeks until we can get you in <laughs> for the injection. And that's the Joplin's Neuroma. There are lots of nerve compressions that we see in the foot. The one that affects the plantar medial aspect of the great toe is known as Joplin's neuroma, and this was a new patient that I saw this week. A couple of slides now just dealing with the presentation of the condition, and of course there are lots of articles that you can find online if you've got an interest in this area and you want to read a little bit more of the background. The bottom line is that it affects the plantar medial uh, proper digital nerve of the great toe, coming off the medial plantar nerve. And this is the usual point of maximal tenderness. Main symptom then is pain. Now you've been prodding about, it's aching. Aching, okay. But normally it was sharp shooting, aching or burning. It was normally... It's the shooting pain that I went to the doctors okay. with. I do get just a constant bit of a Bit of a pain. constant yeah, nagging pain. but nothing that's too bad. Understood. I don't take medication. So that sharp pain tells me that it's something more likely neuralgic, nervy than not. And you've got a very slight bunion deformity going on. Yeah. So you know you've had you've had all the nerve pains in the past, so you know that you can have trauma to a nerve and that causes some issues. So if I can just mark up on the side of your foot, let's just check that this is still in the video. So if I mark up, if we've got the can I <laughs> can I draw on your foot, Sally? Yeah. <laughs> he says and we're going to just mark up this is where the the big toe joint is and if you think about the nerves to the to the joint there's kind of one up up down down so you've got four and you've got one that comes really around this point here and it supplies up to the big toe and it's really very common with bunion deformities to see some entrapment of the nerve very commonly the one on the top that's really very common because that gets caught round about this point here and that one is the superficial perineal nerve that's really commonly caught within a bunion deformity because of the bump much less commonly people who are a little bit flat and roll a little bit can entrap this one and that's known as a Joplin's neuroma Joplin being the doctor that first wrote it up and where you get is you get plantar medial pain and particularly around that bump now it was around there, the pain, wasn't it? I don't really want to give you too much grief again. But we had to jump in out of the chair yeah, before we set the video going. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it for the video no, now. You brought it on yourself, Sally. <laughs> there. There, okay. And this is where the nerve comes. We get a lot to settle down with a shot of cortisone, which will shrink down some of the inflammation, the swelling around the nerve. But because it's generally because you roll over, you're a little bit flat-footed, sometimes you'll get some thickening of the joint issue you do have, but and that doesn't change. Am I flat-footed that way, not that way? <laughs> that way. Okay. Okay, not like that, like that. <laughs> the Tommy, was that Tommy Cooper? Yes, I think so. I think so, a bit before your time. So your pain really is, is around that area there. Yeah. So what I say to the guys that I try and teach injection therapy too is to absolutely know your, neuro, your neuroanatomy so I know that's where the most medial branch of the plantar medial plantar nerve is and it supplies that, uh, that area there typically settles down well with the cortisone shot but if it doesn't I have actually had to for a few patients take a section of nerve out surgically and then that takes away the pain great but I've only needed to do very small number it's quite an unusual condition and let's just see if I can just you're still on the scan so I'm just going to write this in so don't wash your feet now for three weeks until we can get you in <laughs> for the injection. And that's the Joplin's neuroma. So Sally, what we're going to do now is prepare a little bit of steroid. So we're going to use a little bit of Depamedro, which works really nicely for this. This is partly talking to me, partly talking to the camera. So a bit of cortisone, which is effectively, it's an anti-inflammatory, settles down some of the inflammation, the swelling around the nerve. So we're going to use the 
technical amount is a smidge and a half. And for you, I want to use a bit of local anaesthetic as well, because I really want to knock out that nerve for a few hours, almost as a diagnostic. These are these safety needles, which we love, don't we, Lou? Oh, we do. Not. I just won't look at them. No, I, I don't look either. I can't stand the size of them. little needle he's putting on now. It's not that great big one. This is a little one we use. We, we only it's use... Probably you had a bad experience with... Yeah. We've so both given blood for years and, you know, hey. <laughs> win some, you lose some. You do indeed. A little bit of skin prep. We're going to come in just behind it if we can, Sally. Mm -hmm. So there's a little sting as it goes in. And then I'm looking for a little ooh and an ah when we get to the right bit, okay? Okay, you're all right. I'm all right, thank you very much. Okay, three, two, one, scratch. And then what I'm expecting is a little bit of a... Ah! Oh, there you go. What there? On cue. <laughs> I do hope I set the video going because that was a perfect one. So it's just sub -Q. It's just underneath the skin. And then a bit of compression. And then these wonderful safety needles where they get in the blessed way. And then we have to throw them away in the sim bin. Oh, that's so professional. Thank you, Lou. Check for any claret. And we're done. Can be stingy for a day or two because the steel is quite strong. I got really hot. <laughs> it's hot in here. The local anaesthetic will work in the next five, ten minutes. Okay. So I'm interested in how it feels for the next rest of the evening. So it should take away all the pain. We've only used a small amount of local anaesthetic, so it's not like we're knocking out the whole of the foot. So I'm interested in how that local anaesthetic works tonight. And then over the next two days to two weeks, the steroid kicks in and that should settle down some of the swelling of the inflammation around the nerve. So there's every chance when you come back in six weeks' time that you're doing really well. Okay. Carry on using the, the yeah, insole arch the support. Arch, yeah. Lynn, we need a plaster. Are you all right with a little plaster? Yeah, no, no, that's fine. That's pretty clever kit, the, um, the isn't it? Oh, it's jolly clever. Why yeah. Keep these plasters in your yeah, no, they, work, they work very well. Never got any plasters. I'll probably edit this bit out of the video, viewers. Can you put a bit of gauze in this? I one? can indeed. Even better. So we're going to use one of these fancy plasters. They look like a little bit of gauze, you know, to the untrained eye. But that's because I'm allergic to plasters. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So. Awesome. Sally, questions? Any questions? No. Take it easy the rest of the day. Watch out for the sting. Keep off it tonight. Might be stingy tomorrow. So if you need to be on the couch with Jeremy Carl tomorrow, that's not a problem. I've got a presentation to do. Oh, no. To manage, isn't he, for tomorrow? Do it by Skype.